This video, we're going to discuss 3D printer accuracy, specifically the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon. Hey, how's it going out there, everybody? I am the gun psychiatrist, and in today's video, we are going to discuss quite a debated topic of 3D printer accuracy when it comes to the bamboo lineup, um, specifically my printer, the X1 Carbon, but I've seen every user from the A1s to the P1S to the P1Ps, and every printer in bamboo's lineup seems to have this issue with printer accuracy. But when we're talking about printer accuracy, what users tend to complain about is, oh, well, you know, I print this little 20 by 20 uh, calibration cube and it doesn't come out 20 millimeters. It comes out 19.8 or 19.7. It's not 20 and I paid $1,600 for my machine. Granted, I was one of those people that had the same frustration. Paid a lot of money for a machine and yet I have a... Uh, Ender 3 that can print more accurately than a bamboo machine. However, is this really true? And uh, that's what today's video is going to be about, is covering a new feature I found in the recent update of Bamboo Lab software, or Bamboo Studio, which is the slicing program for Bamboo Labs. So what I found out was, as I did the most recent update, it's uh, version 1.10.1. And this is the most latest version that has come out. So this all started when I noticed a new feature as I was installing a, a couple of new filaments that I got. I noticed a new feature that showed up, which is under the shrinkage link right here. And obviously it's, it's for when molten plastic is heated up and is printed. As it cools down, it's going to expand or contract in its own special way. Each filament is going to be just slightly different. So being an engineer, the one thing that I wanted to find is, well, what is the, you know, typical shrinkage calculator? Is it like any other number that you're going to calculate a difference in to get a percent out of? So what I am going to show you today is how to overcome this inaccuracy issue with Bamboo Lab 3D printers. And it's so simple and it's been fixed in this most recent update. Now, I think it is also fair to mention that... There wasn't a lot of math given by Bamboo Labs other than what was described, but uh, it's pretty easy to dissect. So first I want to talk about what actually happens with plastic filament as it is extruded. It's extruded in extremely high temperature, uh, depending on what you're printing with, anywhere from you know 200 degrees Celsius up to 300 degrees Celsius for most uh, consumer-based filaments. However, what we have to take into consideration is what is occurring during this process. So it, it is molten, it's laid down, and then it begins to cool. And of course, it comes to room temperature when the print job has completed. And what you're dealing with is something that's called thermal expansion. And all materials have, under thermal expansion, they have what's called a linear expansion coefficient. So ABS, as a material, usually has a linear thermal expansion coefficient from about 72 up to 108, whereas ABS glass fiber, uh, which is the candidate material that we're using today, has a linear temperature expansion coefficient of about 31. I boiled this down to a really, really simple formula. But before we get to the math of all this, we got to show you a quick video from our sponsor, which is me. Introducing the Track Tag, a revolutionary solution for firearm identification. The Track Tag installs in seconds, making it a faster and more cost effective alternative to replacing an AR 15 ejection port door. Customizable for 1913. M-Lock, and Keymod rails. Track tags can be ordered to display caliber, agency name, unit, slogans, and more. Built to last with high-quality fiber-reinforced polymers, rugged yet lightweight and made in America. Ideal for firearm owners. Identify calibers in your safe with simplicity or showcase a custom slogan with ease. Perfect for police departments and corrections. Improve accountability, and prevent weapon misidentification or mix-ups. 
a valuable tool for gun stores and ranges, quickly identify calibers for customers or track rental inventory for easy identification, safety, convenience, and clarity, the track tag. So if you're interested in obtaining a track tag for your own firearm, please check out our website at cam.com. Of course, you can see that printed right up here on this sign. You can order your track tag and get it personalized for your own firearm. Right now, I'm running a special. And uh, if you order more than one track tag for your firearm, you can save 15% and get upgraded shipping. I think currently, right now, we're shipping out first-class mail just due to the size and weight. But we will upgrade it to UPS Ground Advantage for free if you order two or more. And you get to save 15% off. Use coupon code GETTRACKING. That's G E T. T-R-A-C-N-15, and that will allow you to hop in on this sales event they were having from now until the end of the year. So here's a more simplified version of the math that you're going to have to use. And as you can see here, we're going to divide the measured value by the actual value. Of course, up here, you can see the micro strain value, what that unit looks like. Now, according to Bamboo Studio, when you measure 94 millimeters, compared to the 100 millimeter object, that should give you a percentage of shrink by 94%. And that would be what you put into the filament category. Now, what you can do with this calculator is really simple. We're going to print a 20 by 20 by 20 millimeter test cube. And we're going to pull some measurements off that test cube and see how this calculator works for us. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right. So now we're going to pull our measurements here. Nineteen point nine. Nineteen point nine. Change these values. We know that our measured value for the cube was nineteen point nine, and the actual size of the cube in bamboo slicer was twenty millimeters. So that gives us a scale factor of ninety nine point five. Now, what we'll do is we'll hop back over to Bamboo Studio. We're going to go open this, and we're going to put in 99.5. We're going to save it. One thing we want to do when we do this is ensure that your XY compensation values are set at zero, because if you have them set there, this is not going to be accurate. Let's make sure they're zeroed out. We're going to go ahead and slice this part, okay? And we're going to go ahead and print it, send it to the printer. Wait for another piece to come off. All right. Let's go ahead and get that printed part. Let's go ahead and pull measurements on this now. Make sure our calipers are zeroed out. All right. Morning. Morning. I lump myself into the own category of one that has complained about the inaccuracies of the Bamboo Lab printer. It's crazy. An Ender 3 should not be more accurate than a Bamboo Lab uh, X1 Carbon or even a P1P or P1S. It just shouldn't be possible. But really where this issue is stemming from is a misuse of the equipment. I'm included in that. Now that we have the shrink values down, we can get accurate dimensions. The printers are not inaccurate. You just need to include the shrink rate in there. And I think this is a really handy feature that Bamboo Labs has incorporated into their slicing software. So your printers are not inaccurate. However, what this does prove is that these machines are in fact accurate. We just have to have the proper parameters set up in place so the machine knows what to do and how to account for linear thermal expansion. Now it's gonna be on to recalibrating all my filament. Yippee, happy printing, I guess. If you found this video helpful, among others on my channel, please do consider that little subscribe button right there. 
hit that thing for me. And of course, hit the like button, smash that like button. So this gets out to other people in the community. This is a new feature that I just noticed yesterday, which is going to be on November 14th. So this just hit, this is going to solve a lot of inaccuracy issues. No more having to go back and rescale your models anymore. You can do it by the filament because each filament is a little bit different. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. And until next time, God bless America again.